So here we have our 1999 Lance 1030 truck cab over camper. It was just delivered yesterday, but we wanted to get started on um, renovating a camper. We didn't want to go with anything that was um, too expensive because we want to kind of put our own personal touch to it. So this is 10 feet 11 inches long. That is a pretty big truck camper, especially for one that was made in 1999. So as you can see, it's got, you know, all the old school decals and stuff on it. This thing has been kept in amazing condition. Everything else that we've looked at, even things that are 2002, 2001, 2005, are in way worse condition than this one from 99. So these people took great care of this. Now let's go inside. All right, so as you can see, we've got a lot of the old school teal carpet and cushions, window valence. We've got a lot of storage space, surprisingly, for such a, I mean, a small RV, but a pretty large um, truck camper. Um, and then the bathroom. This was a make or break deal for us when it came to a truck camper. One of the things that we told ourselves is if we're going to get a truck camper, it's going to have a toilet and a shower. So let's check this out. Ta-da! Here, Dometic fridge, decent sized fridge. This is, this is awesome. No more running out of ice and all your stuff getting wet so then we got a, a freezer as well so that's pretty nifty we've got a queen size mattress on here i believe it is a six inch six inch mattress um we will probably replace this with a memory foam mattress in the future because um this is this is a little rough this is a little rough this one has a nice sleek ac it's blowing cold cold air right now so that works great but this is our newest project um just a matter of what to do with the ceiling the walls um some of the fabric and obviously we went to paint all the cabinets redo the the um countertops and stuff but um but yeah this is this is gonna be our build really helps to have the right tools and my husband is on a 4x4 rescue mission right now so it is impossible to find any of his stuff but found this nice little extension for the drill this is gonna make this go a heck of a lot faster finally getting back to the camper renovation. Last time you saw me, I was dripping sweat because it was still warm here in Arizona. Now it's about two months later and we're finally getting back around to doing some paint and stripping this thing out and doing some renovations to it. So stay tuned. We've got a lot of things planned. All right guys, so we're gonna take this oven out. I don't think we're gonna reuse it. Um, I think we're gonna just do a new butcher block countertop and a like a bar sink and um, Just do countertop over here with an induction stove top that we can like plug in and just like Stow away when we're not using it and have the extra counter space ink on it It kind of popped loose This is gonna be awkward getting out of here Yep just disconnecting the sink because these counters are coming off, the sink's coming out, faucet's coming out. So we have moved on to taking all of the doors off, all of the drawers out so that we can come back in here and paint and paint all the doors and everything separately, do it the right way, 
it'll take a little bit of extra time taping everything off, but we told ourselves we are not rushing ourselves on this project. I've been bugging Chad to get this thing out of here since the day we brought this home. It drives me nuts. It's so ugly. Okay. okay, we'll have to see. Okay. Alright, we got it. There are a ton of holes like underneath here and everything that I want <clears throat> I want to try to sand down a little bit. Um, as you can see I'm putting this wood filler on. We've got all of the holes filled. Those are drying, but I'm going to go ahead and start mixing the primer. Um, we just went with the bare kitchen, bath, and trim, primer, and sealer. We never knew the sky beyond the blue. We turned the page, our story became a world brand new. You and I, we have found what we've been missing. You and I. Taping everything off. Got the painter's plastic on everything. Both of us are tag teaming this so that we can just get to painting because we can't do anything else until this is done. All right, guys, as you can see, lighting's not great because all the windows are covered up, but we have our first layer of primer down. Um, we're only doing one layer of primer. It got some pretty good coverage. So we're going to go ahead and just spray a couple coats of top coat in the white. We're going to do an extra coat on the bottom of everything just so kicking and whatnot um, tries to minimize scuffs. All right, we got a layer of primer down on all the doors and the drawers. We'll let this dry. We'll flip it all over, do a layer of primer on the other side. And then we will put the top coat on, a couple coats, and we'll call this paint job done. The final coat of white is finally on, thanks to Chad saving the day because I was in here for a full day just hand painting this thing, and it was like the worst idea ever. So, got all of the white. But, um, oh yeah, and then Chad is going to furnish this whole area underneath the sink and the um, countertop with our new Renogy solar power system. So we went, some people might say overboard with it. I think it's going to be perfect. It's going to allow us to go off grid and not have to plug into an RV site. So all of this is reserved for our new Renogy system. So we just unwrapped the butcher block and Chad mentioned it has to be stained and sealed within what, 48 hours? Within 48 hours. So Chad is measuring out, this is the table from the camper. We're, he's just going to use this to cut out a template, um, to throw that in there. And then I think he can get part of, part of the countertop out of this piece as well. And we do have a second piece. Um, to be able to do the rest of the time talk. So let's get to it. All right, so Chad's got the table, the little bar top area, plus a little um, piece that's gonna go on top of, I believe it's like a little countertop that's in our our bed area and now we are on to the big cut which is going to be where the kitchen sink is which is over here we're going to do that after all this is cut out all right the last the 
last thing we obviously got to clean this up clean inside here up but all our cuts are made we just got to drill the hole for the faucet we can finish sanding and start staining First, a little cleanup. All right, we're just gonna go with one coat, just a subtle gray. Um, looks so good compared to this. This looks good, but the kind of weathered gray looks amazing. Looks way better than I thought it was going to. Tiff's working yes. on this other bar top. Then she's gonna come over here and do the little counter. <laughs> guys that is going to wrap up this video stay tuned we've got so much more to do on our camper and on the Kodiak so stay tuned for our next video don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with all your friends until next time toodaloo